When you see false teachers, false prophets, fake miracles, what should be our reaction? Hii maneno ndio tunachangamkia. Kama kei, hii ni Buda Voice Live Malika Kinuka tunakausha. Na madhejo leo ndio pati ya mwisho ya zile maswali tumekuwa tukiangalia. Tumangalia vitu mbili tatu tu kujaribu kuangalia hii conversation yote ya mazee regulation ya church to see the different issues na kwa raise what is the position ya God ama ya scriptures on those issues. Do at least unaweza make decisions that are informed na kuanza jua role yetu ni gani. So of course mazee one of the things what we mention ni ah ma fake pastors nini ma prophets eh mara wengine wanatudanganya hapa venye wanaongelesha God wengine mazee sijui ma miracles za ajabu. <laughs> zingine uwezi tell sasa kama ni ukweli or not because in the eyes of men in a kite so fictitious unajua ina lack some elements of credibility uh, watu wengine wameshanga i mean hizi miracles zina happening bad or not but the truth of the matter ni it miracles zina faziwe na ziko na tulikuwa promised by the tunaweza kwa hebu kufanya greater things kuna miracles to me do me kuna miracles nimeona personally in my life kuna vitu god ame do that are super supernatural through me na kuna vitu amenifanyia mimi mwenyewe that are supernatural so talking about miracles ni vitu ziko uh, and uh, si kitu ya kutushangaza sana but interestingly pia miracles ni ni za non believers ziko na get point yangu uh, ideally kama kuna kitu miracle na mtu miracle na faizungumzie sana ni non believer through it as a mazee ku come to believe Christ eh? for mimi na wewe whether we experience miracles or not our faith should never be shaken or, uh, uh, or, or we should not be troubled that mazee si jona miracle means they experience miracle yote zizi zizi boss ya muhimu kaka brother wanna believe in Christ wolo lo 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 go je au je mi ujiza ya mazee we ni msol ko na faunya roho safi but god am come through na aka transform life yako and through faith a supernatural thing in happen umekuwa translated into a child of god maze umekuwa made a son unajua hizo ni hizo ni vitu deep uh, spiritual so of course uh, in the eyes of laymen in the eyes of wadhi wanashanga maze ah watu wamezidi bana maze tu mbona si lukao sa kidogo tulikuwa na the kanyaris na sijini ni one of the things mimi nafa Mungu kwa sensitive na yeye ni all these things is number one lazima nijiulize what is the the ni nini hizi story ina achieve cuz ndio ikuje hit the limelight ipate the kind of expression ina get kuna kuna purpose ina serve na hii purpose ina serve ina commission wa na mtu ama something behind it unaelewa uh, kuna some things we don't understand kuna time nilikuwa napiga story na a pastor friend of mine eh akini jaribu kuni explain ya the kind of impact ile story ya kanyari ilikuwa nayo mwingine story ya kanyari kae kanyari nini tulikuwa tuna check about it amekamba kama ni kwa chachi ile ameambia watu ni ma wallet nini 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 eh ni waombe eh akiambia watu mazee sawa hata kama ni kuiba si ni kuibia kidogo nini now mimi na wewe wenye probably we are grounded in the word of god tulikuwa disgusted tulikuwa annoyed but we move on but atuku jiuliza to the lay people kuna watu honestly mazee wana wana try to find god sijui kuna get point ya kuna watu honestly i wanna copy ya spiritual issues in fact don't go explain how his story ni serious unataka hiyo nimeitwa kwenda ku preach bali eh ghetto flani so nimeenda kwa ghetto flani nime nime share word after hapo kama k alter call nani nataka kuokoka na ile kwa ni jeshi ya mraia ukicheki hivi unachikia watu wenyewe wame wamepitia wame mangori wame, wame ni mahadnox ni watu walikuwa na background ya crime hapa na pale ni nini umeitoa ungeleshe ume speak watu na kuangalia tu kula ndimu then mse moja ka get gata ka kinua mkono kama yeye baba zniaje then mazeli uliza swali ili ni hit jafte wata kauliza eh salvation ni boss mimi nimehubiri nime make alter call na psyche yangu yote niki believe nikisema salvation u jamaa na ile wanaongea kuhusu nini then ni can hit wa 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 yani nimekuwa ni, ni, ni in a circle of friends ama church folk 
Yenye unasium what we know as a group of people ndio kila mtu mwingine anajua. Unasium jo understand salvation ni nini kila mtu anaelewa. Mazili bidi ni aze from scratch. What is sin ilitoka wapi? Tulianzia wapi? Sin ilikujaje into the earth? Role ya man ilikuwa gani? Blanda ilikuwa ni nini? Sacrifices za animals ilianza wapi? Kwa nini? Ili translateaje to mazevi ni Christ ali come the law is if to zote una explain in detail until kuja kuelewa kwa nini Christ is the only way to God. Nikimaliza explanation which ilikuwa ni kaa wish you ningekuwa sermon because zingine nilikuwa na ndizuko anapiga kelele. Watu waelewi naongea kwa nini? Nikimaliza nikoleza the same question how many people would like to be saved ka wote wakainua mkono now we understand salvation ni nini now we want jesus christ buda hii ni nipati expression that kuna vitu mingi tuna assume juu sisi tuko grounded that kila mtu ako mali tuko uongo so pasee kwa explain ya kuna watu maze wali lose trust in god because of what kanyari sorry kanyari nilikuwa kwa tell in news and all over kuna watu mazao walikuja kadharau church wakadharau hizo za giving wakaanza ku get the perspective church ni about door hawajui churches za Kenya mazao ni kibao true churches ni mingi hivi Kenya people committed to sharing the true gospel but anytime kuna mtu mmoja ama wawili errant buda hao watu wakipatiwa limelight na focus wanapewa in the media we have no clue of the power ikonayo ya ku communicate the wrong message na ule msia ku weak in faith wewe salio utasema hiyo ni ufala yao i know the truth and i will pursue the truth that i know kuna msia na tupa the little faith that alikuwa nayo to the window anasema history a god ikai there is no god ah what what in the same thing what in your kora wote ni wagondi. So when this story na happen, mimi na wewe maze lazima tukuwe able to make our voices heard. I know just our voices to speak the truth. Watu waelewe where are we at? Ukisikia hii story inamaanisha nini? If we don't counter our watu wana push their narrative and for the lay people, for those who are not grounded in the things of God, manze wanapelekwa hivi na upepo. Wa. Lazima tukuwe proactive kiasi. So kikuja kwa historia prophets false prophets false teachers what should be our reaction is it a new thing ni surprise unasema haya ya 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 wa au dio umetokea wapi is it something that was forewarned or prophesied about is it something that already ilikuwa destined to happen ilikuwa na express nini because lazima watu waelewe the times and seasons we live in Second Peter chapter 2 Tunasoma vitu mbili tatu. Number 1 verse 1 inasema but there were also false prophets among the people just as there will be false teachers among you. Isi mara ya first uko na false teachers ama preachers ama prophets wamekuwa beforehand na at the point Peter na speaker anawaambia by the na bado watakuwa. Na kuna scriptures kibao zinatupatia indication that both especially in the last days some of the things that were as indicators that to in the last days kutakuwa na an increase of false teachers, an increase of false prophets. Boss, si semi kitu ati inaenda kuisha, inaenda kuongezeka. And where we are, the first thing tunafuata wewe kuambia watu, Buda, tumeingia ile time tuliambiwa mzee. Ndio hii ile time tumekuwa tukiambiwa in the last days. Ndio hii mimi na wewe tunaishi. Tukiona hii. Ukiona hii ama fala wanatokelezea na vitu za ajabu. Buda walikuwa prophesy ndio tuweze kujua the time and season tunaishi. Na ile time tuko mti wangu, tuko injury time. Christ ako about to come and our first reaction yetu inafaikuwe. He is coming. Jesus Christ is coming. Prepare your hearts make straight your paths for him reaction in your first so nothing to make us scared or worried or there's no alarm it was prophesied it was planned i mean to lisha ambi wa it come to take place is for us to understand the time and the season and to react appropriately okay now our watu wako na identity tumepewa ya ku discover the they will secretly introduce destructive heresies zile vitu za bible zimekuwa twisted 
ukiona mse wote mwenye harifa to the bible ama ukirifa to the same scripture na feel i kuna distortion flani anachukua hii scripture na ipatia perspective yake ukijaribu kusoma the context of jambia i your meaning na hii kitu hapana heresies and they always strive my people don't have a personal walk with god that's why mupenda bereans man ndio wazee kweni kama bereans paul paul wenye alikuwa mofaya paul anaongea pale wanamshikilia hapo kidogo wanachukua scripture wanasoma wanasema okay ni ukweli endelea anasema eh hey, shikilia hapo ngoja wanaenda wana confirm wale kwa sababu for us we believe the word not the man and that's where we all should be you don't believe the man believe the word kwa uso ma word mazaita kuleta place ngori so they want introduce destructive heresies even denying the sovereign lord lord who bought them kuna watu mbaka wana deny god wengine wamejita god wengine wamesema god wanawaita god yani vitu zingine crazy God amekuja ame relax kwa lapi yake. Vitu zingine ukisikia hata wewe mwenyewe unajiambia, "Eh, hey, maze watu vuta vitu fulani zenye ni strange." Okay, bringing swift distraction upon themselves. Usidanganywe na mtu, "Awa dio mejeletea distraction na itakaa na tutaiona. A time will come when it's already to come take place. Men will follow their shameful ways." And it's interesting. Deception in our followers mbaya. Maze na jiwa preachers wenye wana teach vitu. Yaani the real meat and bone of the word of god na mazo tupata na congregation watu ka 50 35 100 200 committed to nothing but na kuzae kuna places zingine tupata watu wako kwa deception lakini following wako nayo wewe eh watu wataki kuambiwa ukweli ya word na righteousness na holiness na repentance na you know doing good uh, in the name of the lord you know loving our enemies until we to mazewe juice ya neno preaching christ and only christ crucified z what do nataka police tutambua my brother my sister it doesn't matter what you did yesterday it doesn't matter where you've been but the lord has blessed you the lord has blessed you bring your seed offering wewe mwenyewe una joro yako kwa god ndokuwa unaingizwa box ukipata mahali mzee neno inapitiwa unasema azi hiyo neno mzee ni deep sana ama ni a watu wa juu life lakini mahali unapepetwa hivi wewe mwenyewe unataka kupepetwa Eh hey, uneko ina spiritual high lakini unajua kuna content. Roho yako mwenyewe mazee inakutupanisha. Tuendeana kaka. So the shameful way lakini wako na wadhi. And they will bring the way of truth into disrepute. Na hapo normally lazima tuweze ku speak kwa Mungu because our wadhi wakisema their narrative news ikikuja news unajua hata go deep into the full truth. Wongo wanapeleka their agenda wanapeleka wata ana ata report story in only a way that na present ah ah watu ni fake mbona wasiende an extra mile to some scriptures zenye zinatuambia these people were prophesied about and this is how you're supposed to respond mbona wasiende an extra mile to ambie uh, uh, we are in the last days and the lord jesus christ ana come mbona sino tulete wale watu wanajua the word of god wakaichini wa seminars this is what the word of god says so when you see this and this and the other that will make you know this is false zi how to present in church ni kama high work hizi vitu ni fake ama pastor ni fake because wanajua the impact iko nayo not on you who is grounded on the one who is trying to find the truth in other words wako na way though wanakuambia wana bring news but in itself wana communicate the same purpose wako nayo which has nothing to do with preaching Jesus Christ and preaching the truth. Danganyo na mtu. They will bring half truths present it only to the way in a meet their agenda. Then watch those who do not know the word, those who are not grounded to get lost in what they have communicated halfway. In their greed, these teachers will exploit you with stories they have made up. This guys want to make my story man. Wata kudanga, watera watengeza mpaka wasanii. Wewe kuja ukilimp, nikisema hivi amka mka uruke ruke. Sema mazee e, 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 nimekuhili. Na watu wanaona pick up gimmicks. But wewe mwenye mazee imani yako haiko kwa God na una substance matter. Ume stream hapo. Watu ume screen. Yeah, yeah. The next thing unaambiwa sasa leteni 10000 hapo unakimbia unaweka pale my friend. Ngotsa idea man. Ngotsa idea. They make up stories. Fana mwingine amechukua simu ata anapigia God. So na shanga mazee amepigia God na Safaricom ama Airtel. Mimi vitu zingine mazee. Una kai hivi unaona vitu vile watu wakiongea. Unaonea hiyo congregation room because hiyo congregation ingekuwa iko na time ya ku study neno, wangeza ku tell hizi maufala zote zina take place. 
Their condemnation has long been hanging over them and their destruction has not been sleeping. I want to go down and say, Tayari nisha wa condemn, destruction now ina come. And of course, man ni huko baby unajuliza, masa ito, kwani for how long do we have to wait? Masa ito inuambie, kitu itawa surprise maybe, that even I want to go down interested in their souls. As much as even I may say, I want to condemn you now, if they repent, God will not hesitate kwa take in. Unagete? So, God will to party and it's in all of us here to go to party a time to make straight our way our ways time to repent also to talk to talk the cup of sin but when the cup of sin is full unajua kuna gasa plan b destruction as it may come and sometimes like him say destruction yake iko ni venye time yake ijafika fulfillment the cup of sin but in a build na yeye ajui ana run out of time Ajui ana run out of time judgment ina come yeye yuko tu amefanya blanda moja ai ameona ija kuna time happen ya pili ya tatu amezoea anafikiria hivi ndio kuna endanga in fact anafika maana anaona mazee ndio yako right hajui mazee time yake na run out and the day god anasema it is done judgment kongo ameenda god at say die mazee mimi na wewe au sio god at say die If for, for if God did not spare angels when they sinned but sent them to hell putting them into gloomy dungeons to be held for judgment if he did not spare the ancient world when he brought the flood on its ungodly people and protected Noah a preacher of righteousness and and seven others if he condemned the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah by burning them to ashes and made them an example of what is going to happen to the ungodly Mzee God and Robbie boss kama mimi nili nili deal na angels in heaven ikawa to my hell mimi nili destroy the earth na maji mimi nili destroy Sodom na Gomorrah nini nakuambia sta destroy ya watu nini nakuambia na kama niliweza ku save Noah na nika save Lot mti wangu righteous man who was distressed by the filthy lives of lawless men mimi ni God naweza save watu wangu so na get point yangu eh God mzee anakuambia hizi vitu mimi naweza dua naweza do rather So if this is so then the Lord knows how to rescue godly men from trials and to do, and to hold the unrighteous for the day of judgment while continuing their punishment. Pano yao the it a come. The responsibility in mimi na wewe na wana tuko naye watu Mungu ni ku teach the truth in whichever small way we can. Because Fear yangu is not about mimi na wewe wenye tuko established. See here ni trouble because una the truth already so unaweza gauge. In fact the reason why unasema hii ni ufala ni because una come from a point of some truth or some knowledge of self, okay? Ndio unaweza nini ufala. Lakini kwa hiyo msei uko hapa, wewe ni hiyo ni ufala. Yeye kwake ame believe huu msei ukweli. So in every small way tunaweza watu wa Mungu. Share hii truth unajua. Usijiweke. Uko na 300 followers. Share kwa all 300 followers. Oh, ni five. Share to the five. Wacha tuendelee ku share in every way. Let every believe to job see job ya mapasi. You can una get. Let every one of us to share the word of God. Cuz we do to zetu na tuko na experience na God. Tuna tuna study the word, tuna tuna interact. Holy Spirit ako available to each and every one of us to ask God to pay Holy Spirit. And to pay revelation. Speak in your whatever small way you can. Weka tuka tweet kadogo. Weka tuka message uh, a post flani FB. We ujui kuna mtu mmoja unaweza guza na huyo mtu mmoja anaweza kuguza 10 million. Is kuna story ni interesting maze. Sika ilikuwa kuna jamaa ali hold the conference flani bigi. A conference in Mission Awadhi, mzee ame make alter call watu waliokoka zile kwa ni mmoja ama watatu. Alikuwa I think ilikuwa ni mmoja if I get the story correct. Alikuwa so frustrated. Yaani naweza je fanya conference big hizi alafu mse mmoja alondi akoke. Guess yo mse mmoja ilikuwa nani or one of the three if that is the story ilikuwa about three. Yo mse mmoja eventually ile end up kukuwa Billy Graham. Billy Graham aliend up kuleta how many millions to the knowledge of Jesus Christ. So one is a guza mtu mmoja FB. Wewe oh, ujio mtu mmoja God amempatia anointing ya kuguza millions of people to share. So when all these noise in happen, yetu si ku react na na issues. Let us take every issue, break them down and tell guys, "Hey, this is what the word of God says." In fact, ikit ina happen kutuambia. It's time. The Lord is on his way. I'll see you. Santeni sana kwa kufollow these five part series. I hope you've had a chance to go through each and every one of them. 
I hope the issues are clear. If you have any word, any scripture to share, feel free to endele ku engage. Like, follow, share, subscribe. Mambo ni kujengana kiimani. I'll see you at Freddy Budabos. Baraka man! Woo! Us! Take on